Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, and today I will be reading Akatsuki Xisner by me. So let's get into it. It had been a quiet night, the kind you cherished, with the comforting home of the city just outside your window. But that peace shattered the moment someone appeared from the shadows. You were walking home when a guy started trailing you, too close for comfort. His intentions clear. Hey, Katsuki, could you come here? He called out, hoping your voice reaches him. Hoping your voice reached him. You hadn't even finished speaking before he was already there, his fierce presence pushing between you and the stranger, like an unmovable wall. Katsuki's red eyes narrowed glaring at the man who dared to step too close to you. So, you got a problem? Katsuki growled, his voice low and dangerous. The stranger, clearly not expecting anyone else to be around, took a step back, frowning. This has nothing to do with you, man. Just having a chat with your friend here. The man muttered, his voice dripping with false bravado. Katsuki's lips twisted into a cruel smirk, his hands already crackling with the sparks of his quirk. Yeah? Let's see if you still feel like chatting after I blow you to bits, loser. Katsuki, don't... You started, but the look in his eyes told you that this fight was... inevitable, as most of his fights were, really. Katsuki's protective nature ran deep, and especially when it came to you. There was no way he was going to let this guy walk away without making him regret this entire encounter. The stranger, finally realizing who he was up against, raised his hands in a weak attempt at calming things down. Whoa there, no need for that. I didn't mean anything by it. Katsuki was not having any of it. He took a step forward, and the guy flinched. You didn't mean anything? Following her? Cornering her? You are a damn coward. Just trying to act so tough with someone who couldn't fight you back. Katsuki snarled, his fists tightening. But guess what? You're dealing with me now. The man's eyes widened. And for a second, you could see the fear flicker across his face. It was no secret that Katsuki Bakugo was not someone to mess with, especially not when he was pissed off. Katsuki, let it go. He is not worth it. He said softly, placing a hand on his arm, trying to pull him back from the edge. He glanced down at you, his eyes still blazing with fury. But your touch seemed to calm him, if only a little. He let out a sharp breath, but the spark still danced across his skin. You're lucky she's here. If it were up to me now, he would be in the hospital. The guy did not need any more convincing. He muttered something under his breath and bolted right out of the place disappearing into the night as fast as his legs could carry him, and Katsuki did not bother chasing him, not when he had you around. Also, his fists were still clenched tightly by his sides. You let out a long breath, the tension slowly leaving your body, as the danger had finally passed. Katsuki, you started... Your voice soft, but before you could say more, he turned towards you, his expression still stormy, but softer than before. You okay? He asked, his voice gruff but laced with concern, his hands, once crackling with energy, now gently touched your arms. I'm fine, thanks to you. His scowl deep end, but he knew it was just his way of showing he was worried. You shouldn't have been out here alone. If I wasn't here... He reached up, 
cupping his face with your hand. But you were here. And I'm fine. Really. For a moment, he said nothing. Just stared down at you with those intense red eyes of his. Then with a soft sigh, he wrapped his arms around you, pulling you tightly against his chest. I hate that someone tried to mess with you. I hate it. You smiled, leaning into his embrace. I know, but you scared them off before anything could happen. He grunted, still clearly unhappy, but his grip on you tightened protectively. Damn right I did. I'll make sure no one ever tries to touch you again. He chuckled softly, resting your head against his chest. I'm not worried about that. Not with you around. He huffed, but you could feel his heartbeat steady beneath your ear. I'll always be here. He murmured, almost too quietly for you to hear. No one's ever going to mess with you again. Got it? Got it. He whispered back, your heart swelling at the depth and meaning of his words. And I love you for it, Katsuki. I really do. His arms tightened around you, his grip still gentle, and even though he did not say it back, because the word sometimes was a little bit difficult for him to say, despite how much he loved you, he still struggled with showing love itself. But the way he held you was firm, protective, and unyielding, and it said every single thing you needed to know. Because as always, his actions would show his love clearer than any words could possibly do. Katsuki didn't need to use words to show his love. He showed it in the way he stood between you and danger. In the way he held you close when things got tough. And in the way he promised to fight anyone who dared to threaten the person he cared about most. And then the way you get his promises. Because all those times, what truly really drives him is his love for you.